Bill Belichick, um, it seems to have a lot of his recent former players, Malcolm Butler, uh, Amadola, and guys of that ilk, um, speaking out about, you know, being a Patriot and what it, what it entails being a Patriot. And, you know, even, um, Rob Zamkowski, he, he's also has expressed that you don't have any fun in New England and, you know, they are revoking and Tom Brady to a certain extent, uh, you know, the dichotomy of Bill Belichick, the way, the way he runs the organization, which to me, I think it's a little, you know, overblown. Bill Belichick has done a great job in his 20 years with the Patriots. They've been to what, eight Super Bowls. They won five. They always had a chance to win each Super Bowl. They never were blown out of the Super Bowl. And they, you know, they never really, you know, blow anyone out in the Super Bowl, but they have won five. And I think winning, you know, the thing, see, one thing about professional football is different, different than high school and college. And, you know, playing football out in the, you know, sand lot or wherever you play football at in the street or, you know, you know, in a lot of, uh, in a big field. Yes, you having fun then because the game is pure to you. The game is not, you don't have to worry about, you know, losing a job or coaches, you know, telling you what to do or coaching you up. And, you know, when you're playing out in the streets and, and you know, high school, you get a little uh, taste of what it is to, uh, you know, be in a system in, co in college, you certainly in the system. But when you get to the NFL, it, it's about being a professional and fun. Fun is down the line when you're professional. It's not the first thing on the organization's list. The first thing on their list is their bottom line, how much money they're gonna make. Two is winning, you know, and then if you have some fun, so be it. But they're paying you millions of dollars to perform at a high level and they're not paying you millions of dollars to have fun. <laughs> it's not fun when you at when you at that level. Is you know, if you ha happen to have fun, like the Eagles said they had a lot of fun, then so be it. But um, to me, the Patriots' way has worked. Bill Belichick is possibly one of the greatest coaches ever. I wouldn't say he's the greatest coach, coach ever, but he's one of the great, greatest coaches ever. And I just think, you know, you have to be able to weigh winning with, do you want to win a lot or do you want to win a little and have a lot of fun? Because, like, my Chicago Bears, the last, what, four or five years, they they haven't been having fun losing. The Cleveland Browns, you think the Cleveland Browns been having a lot of fun losing? So losing <laughs> losing doesn't breed fun. Now, if you want to have fun and lose, okay, so be it. That's your mindset. But if I was, you know, in the Patriots organization, I, and I know winning can become boring after a while. I know people like, man, that's, that sounds, you know, that sounds like an oxymoron. But it can because this is the monotony of the Patriots system. The Patriots has a certain way. They're not going to bend or, you know, kowtow to a certain player. Players have come and go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rodney Harris, Ty Law, you know, guys of that ilk, Willie McGinnis, uh, uh, Richard Seymour. It's been a lot of guys come and go. Corey Dillon, a lot of guys that, that, that's been in the organization, had some success, some won some Super Bowls. See, one thing Bill Belichick can guarantee to you, he can't guarantee you a Super Bowl, but he can guarantee that you will be in contention for a Super Bowl as long as you're there, as long as you're doing his, doing your so-called uh, quote-unquote job. That's his mantra. Do your job. Don't worry about nobody else. Do your job so we can be successful. But like I said, I think it's a little bit overblown. I just think a lot of the Patriots players, when you don't win the Super Bowl, then, you know, because all of the things you have to go through, you know, being a Patriot, like being on time, being in the film room, studying and doing all that stuff, having practice, ha probably having hard practice, ma mainly Bill, be, being a Patriot is, is more more of a mental practice, you know, in a sense. Uh, Bill Belichick, he wants smart players. So it's more playing on your mental than anything, than, you know, really physical. Because <clears throat> in order to win at a consistent basis like they, consistent, consistent basis like they win, you have to be mentally strong, man. You have to be a, you know, a smart, quote unquote, smart player to put yourself and be in the right situations at the right time. So, you know, hey, it's also free agency. Now, if you're drafted in a Patriot, then it's, it's a little different. 
But if you come in as a free agent, you have to know already coming in how the Patriots are ran. I mean, you know it from the outside looking in for the last 20 years on how they run an organization. Don't go there if you feel like you're not going to have a lot of fun. You have a choice. But, you know, most guys go there because they want to win. And to me, winning is fun. But, you know, like I said, it's a little overblown. Uh, you know, Bill Belichick, he, he did try to keep Jimmy Garoppolo. He wanted him to be Tom Brady's successor. Tom Brady uh, felt like he he wanted to play to, to he's 45. But Bill Belichick has been doing this all since he's been there. He, he, he always get rid of players a couple years before it's too late. So he was... He, he wanted, uh, you know, Garoppolo to take over probably this year. And, you know, Tom Brady probably got wind of it and didn't want no part of it. So, like I said, winning is fun. Bill Belichick should get a lot of credit for having a winning culture because it's other teams like the Browns that doesn't, you know, have not won in the last, what, 10 years. So, like I said, it's a little overblown. The Patriots, the Patriot way works. They're uh, the model franchise of the uh, of the NFL, right along with Pittsburgh, and now you got the Eagles emerging, you got the Rams emerging. So, like I said, let's uh, see what happens, see what unfolds. I'm out. Subscribe to the channel.